Hello, I got a request from Mali's phone, that's what I'll show how to do. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll be showing you the general workflow. I'll not be too concerned about getting the exact power proportions, but I do want to show you the workflow. So let's start with the initial shape here. So we can go ahead and start with a box. And let's center that box. All right, so I'm going to try and just kind of basically match this angle here. I'm going to apply the poly on top. So the first thing I would do is just select this and just kind of move this. Actually, let's real quick just uh, copy that. And let's really quickly just scale that and move it up. reason for this is because we have an underlying object here, which looks to be just more like a regular box. So we've got this right here. Let's go give this a more appropriate object color and this one right here. All right, something like that. All right, so I will select this and move that forward. I will select this one and move that down. Press F3, just to kind of see through. All right. All right. Insert a loop about through here. And here we will just kind of move this down. And now we've got this. I'm just going to go ahead and make this planar on the Y axis. All right. Now I'll kind of zoom out of here. Let's look at this. So let's see. All right, I'm also just going to apply smooth. Reason for that is because we can very clearly see the distinctions here. Because sometimes smoothing groups get in the way of seeing properly what's happening. All right, now that we've got that, let's create, I guess, a little room for this part. So, let's insert a loop here and insert a loop there. All right, and then let's kind of uh, see what's happening here. All right, so then. Let's insert a loop here as well. And perhaps at the top. Now we can select this and bevel that down, extrude that down. And I'm going to detach as clone and I'm going to shell that object. I'm going to increase the outer amount and I'm going to just turn on uh, straighten corners. And now I will perhaps decrease the outer amount. We're going to get something like that. And it looks like it may be scaling inwards a little bit here. So perhaps I will... I'll go underneath the shell. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just give this a slight inset here. And I'm going to delete this. Just to have kind of more of a gap here. It looks like we do have some sort of a gap here. All right, and so now I will I will insert a loop through here, and I will scale, and I will move. All right, so it looks like we're getting this. All righty. So once again, guys, I don't quite know what's happening on the inside, so I'm pretty much going to leave it as is. Now, if you're going to use creases, I still recommend having some loops here just for better creases. I'm going to just uh, apply preset, select, that's not enough. Let's add this and this as well. Just going down control and double clicking. Let's create a set. Let's zoom in here a little bit. So as you can see, we've got kind of this. You can, of course, use chamfer on this, but I prefer to use subdivision so let's go with like four as you can see we've got this kind of result right here so that's that's fine so i'll just leave it as as that and we were using a value of 0.26 so we kind of keep that in mind all right next we're going to go ahead and set up these buttons so i'm just going to go ahead and select an edge here ring connect to and we're going to expand that something like that now we're going to reset that value All right, we're going to set up the upper limit and the lower one right here i'm going to insert just like uh three through here so at this point 
you can either select this and then kind of uh, inset like that. Now, if you if this was a curved surface, having these kinds of poles here would be a bad idea. But since it's a flat surface, this is fine. We can apply that and then have the height. Then we can OK that and we can detach this clone right away to get the buttons. We can go ahead and give them an appropriate object color. All right, so if we zoom in here, there may be a little bit of a gap right here, guys, which we can do the same way we did for this. We're going to select everything. We're going to outline that. Or what we can also do, guys, is that you can use chamfer. You can increase the amount and activate the open option. And maybe change something here. Maybe like use try. As you can see now, when you increase the amount, it actually makes it smaller without having to go in uh, the extra step of deleting things. So we can do that. Uh, that may have been a little bit too much, but we can also just scale that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of scale this. So we don't want that. So we're gonna change this one to the first one and we're gonna go ahead and scale that. There we go. And sometimes guys, there's a little bit of a indentation, a little bit of a spherical indentation with these buttons. They're not just perfectly flat here. So in order to get that, I'm going to select everything and tessellate that. Then I'm going to select the center vertex on all of these. And we're going to push that inwards. And we're going to go ahead and apply Creaset. And we're going to create a set here and sharpen that up. And we're going to use Open Subdiv here. And you can still continue to use Push to make this more indented here. All right. So now we can take care of this little piece right here. All right, we're going to shoot that. We are going to detach as a clone. We are going to have, I'm going with the inset method. We're going to show that. And we're going to look closely. Looks like there's a little bit of a curve right here. I'm going to set up this custom pivot. And I'm going to insert, let's say, three segments here. And what I'm going to do is just kind of move this up to get this kind of slight curve right here. And there we go. And we can scale it. All right, perhaps now we've got the most complex part left, the wire. But before we do that, let's insert some loops through here just for better subdivision. All right, and now we're going to use reset. And we're going to open subdiv that. Actually, one thing you will notice is that we are getting a bad result here because the topology, it is trying to loop around here. So what we could have done beforehand is we could have just kind of insert loops through here. So to show you what I mean, if I duplicate this and I get rid of all these modifiers. All right, so when we were setting that up, we could have, for example, just like insert, insert loops through here, or for example, selected this and did a chamfer right here. 
like so. And then we could have had like these separations. We could have had different topology happening here. Right? Then we could have had something like that going on here. Alright. But even if you do this right here, because the flat surface, that's why I was not too worried about it. We can just very easily select these edges and just kind of add to it with no problem and kind of just have these be a part of it as well. There we go. And then we can just update that. And there's no problems here. But once again, if this is a curved surface, you would want to go with that other topology that I just showed you. All right, we'll do the same for this. Here I can just preset. So let's see, here I use the value of 0.18. So we can have 0.18 here as well, but you can modify that further. If you want it to be more conformed with, for example, the curvature right here. So perhaps we can decrease that. Just move that out. All right, what you're going to notice is that the buttons don't fully fit in here. So we can at least uh, sharpen this up. So what I would do is select this. And we can have a different set right here where we increase the sharpness. All right, now the most complex part is that looks like we've got a we got a basic little wire coming out the top for the electricity, I believe, and the connection. So uh, that can be something as simple as just uh, detach that as a clone. And I'm just going to go ahead and regularize this and just kind of shell that. But you can also, of course, probably better just use a spline here and go ahead and kind of connect that to where you want that to be. And you can go ahead and go into rendering and just kind of enable that there. 